Hello and welcome. Autonomous maintenance is one of the eight pillars of TPM and plays an important role in engaging the workforce in achieving equipment excellence. In a traditional approach, the maintenance department handles all types of maintenance activity while operators just run the machines. Autonomous maintenance is a system in which equipment operators perform a set of basic daily maintenance activities on their equipment. The overall aim of autonomous maintenance is to support smooth and effective plant operations. One of the ways this is accomplished is by detecting and correcting equipment problems early. The people who run the machines every day are closest to them. They are the first line of defense against equipment problems. In addition, autonomous maintenance creates the capacity for an organization's maintenance team to do more planned and preventive activities than before. The purpose of an autonomous maintenance system can be viewed from two perspectives, equipment and people. From the equipment perspective, the aims are to restore equipment to optimal conditions, establish basic conditions for keeping equipment well maintained, and practice proper daily care of equipment. It's important to note the difference between basic conditions and optimal conditions for equipment. Optimal conditions are often specific to the product, the process, and the equipment. These may be settings or standards established by engineering or the equipment manufacturer. In contrast, basic equipment conditions are those required to prevent accelerated or forced deterioration of equipment. When we allow our machines to get dirty, operate without proper lubrication, or with loose bolts, they can overheat, become contaminated, and break down. In other words, basic conditions are those in control of the operators. Autonomous maintenance addresses this through daily housekeeping and care of equipment. When all parts of the machine are working at their best, with no loose belts and no worn or damaged components, it can operate at its optimal conditions of speed and quality. Once we establish basic equipment conditions to prevent forced deterioration of our equipment, we can begin to improve it. The goal is to get the equipment operating in its ideal state. Autonomous maintenance enables us to pursue both of these equipment conditions step by step. Autonomous maintenance also has an important purpose and goals from a human perspective. These are to remove barriers to cooperation between people, clarify the responsibilities between departments, and develop the mindset and skills for prevention, correction, and improvement. We can do this by setting up simple routines people can follow to practice proper operation, daily checks, cleaning, and lubrication to prevent equipment deterioration. Now you may wonder what we mean by clarifying the responsibilities of maintenance and production departments. First and foremost, production people are responsible for the correct operation of equipment and for making correct adjustments to equipment. In addition to operation, there are maintenance and improvement activities aimed at preventing deterioration and keeping machines running in optimal condition. For example, when practicing autonomous maintenance, Production team members are responsible for preventing the deterioration of equipment through daily activities. Trained production personnel may also assist or perform certain maintenance activities. Autonomous maintenance aims to engage the operators, enhance their skills, and empower improvement by frontline teams. There are three essential parts to this. These are the TPM activity board, the small group activity, and the one point lesson. Team members use their activity boards for communication, education, and motivation. The small group activity is a form of improvement project owned by the team members, and the one-point lessons are visual teaching aids in the workplace. This may sound like a lot of non-production activities for operators to do, but it's important to keep in mind that most of these are brief and structured as a part of daily routines. The three most important daily activities of autonomous maintenance are to complete the tasks to maintain basic equipment conditions, inspect using the five senses, and to escalate any issues identified. Autonomous maintenance activity enables equipment operators to recognize abnormalities before they become serious repairs. This helps maintenance departments to shift their energy from reactive activities to planned maintenance and various improvement activities. This allows the professional maintenance department to become more focused on improvement and innovation rather than being focused on making repairs. However, an organization's professional maintenance team must also invest time to help establish and support autonomous maintenance activities. The key roles of maintenance staff when establishing an autonomous maintenance system include foundational activities, providing education and hands-on training in maintenance tasks, 
and providing technical assistance when needed. That wraps up our review of the Autonomous Maintenance Pillar of TPM. We'll see you soon.